Hey everybody, my name is Sam Pedro and welcome to today's video. I want to do something a little bit differently. For the last two months or so, I've been posting uh, book reviews and summaries on my channel, but today I want to focus on one principle that I've learned and been thinking about recently. I want to start making more videos focused on principles that I'm learning from the books that I'm reading. And part of this, the reason I want to do this is that when I read a book, I, I read it for the purpose of learning and growing and finding true principles, thinking about those principles and summarizing them in my own words. But I'm really excited about the thought of breaking down principles that I'm learning, sharing what books are inspiring me and uh, how these principles can have changed my life and how they could potentially change your life as well. So today will be principle number one and the principle is your strategy is not what you say it is and it comes from the book how will you measure your life by clayton m christensen i will say that this book is one of only a handful of books that have truly influenced the way i think and the way i think about life and about goals and it's just been a huge source of inspiration for me i've, I've read it four or five times in the last couple of years and i really can't say enough good things about this book I'll put a link in the description so you can go check out this book. It is chock full of good ideas and principles. So with this principle, your strategy not being what you say it is, it, it helps to explain the disconnect between our goals or our strategies in life and what we actually do with our time and our efforts. Because setting goals and strategies for our life, they're really nice and we can talk about it all day, but what really matters is what we actually do um, day to day with our action. In the book, Clayton Christensen says that real strategy is created uh, every day with the hundreds of decisions when we decide where to spend our resources. And resources here are defined as personal time, talent, wealth, energy, effort. All of these things we every day are choosing what we spend um, those resources on. And Clayton M. Christensen says that in our life we have these many businesses uh, areas which we decide to allocate resources to. Some of these mini businesses include our work and career, our family relationships, um, our friendships, community service, you know, anything in that nature. And these mini businesses will only grow as we allocate resources to them. The idea being that they won't grow naturally by themselves. We can't expect to have a great marriage, uh, great relationships with our children or our friends if we aren't consciously allocating our time and our efforts to these pursuits. Christensen feels that in general, most people overinvest in their careers and underinvest in these other areas of their lives. And really one of the reasons for him writing this book was to try to open our eyes uh, to the thought that, you know, family relationships, friendships, these can be an enduring source of happiness and joy and fulfillment and that they're worth you know, spending time and effort in building and growing. Highly ambitious people can fall into the trap of allocating their resources to whatever is screaming the loudest, which for most of us is usually our jobs and our careers. And that's because um, they provide quick rewards uh, with the thought being, if I work really hard, if I put in extra work, if I, if I meet deadlines, uh, I'm gonna be rewarded with raises and bonuses, promotions, uh, recognition at work. And these are very tangible things that can be tied directly to extra efforts that we've put in to them. But on the other side, you know, building family relationships, if, if I spend, you know, 30 minutes reading to my child, how does that payoff look? That payoff might not manifest itself for decades. And one of the reasons Christensen wrote this book was to teach that principle that, you know, these different pursuits in our lives, the, the reward from them, they have different timetables. And so for our career, they, they tend to come quicker and, and they tend to come in the form of incentives where you know building family relationships and other relationships with friends, they, they tend to not be paid off as quickly. They tend to take time to nurture and to grow. He also teaches that those who love us the most tend to not scream the loudest for our attention and for our time. And that's because they're supportive of our careers and they want us to see us be successful. On the opposite side of the spectrum, we have people who maybe allocate their resources to less um, ambitious pursuits, maybe watching TV or playing video games. And, and these aren't necessarily bad, but I think it's worth it to consider 
if allocating resources to these things uh, help us reach our goals and our, and our strategies as well. So my question for you and the question I've asked myself is do my actions match my strategy and, and my long-term goals? Uh, the, the thought being, you know, I can say all day um, so I'm blue in the face that I want a great relationship with my spouse and want to raise great children, but am I actually allocating resources to those pursuits? One way to think about it is if you have a spare 30 minutes and have some extra energy, what are you choosing to do? So to recap this principle is one, your strategy is not what you say it is. Your strategy is determined by your daily actions. Two, relationships can be an enduring strength of happiness and joy and fulfillment but they won't grow on their own. And three, if we don't continually think about where we're allocating our time and resources, we may unconsciously just allocate it to whatever is screaming the loudest. So that's today's video. Hopefully you learned something. I have learned a lot uh, about my own life by thinking about this principle. Let me know in the comments if you like this new format, you know, the idea of sharing and spreading principles that I'm learning. If you did like today's video, uh, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Uh, the support means a lot, and I hope you guys all have a good day.